Hi, my name is Rashida Credit, and I work with an organization in Minneapolis called Knock. And I used to work at the Target Field in Minneapolis, um, where I used to work for the games, being a runner, um, a cook, a prep, you know, all types of things. And we're not getting paid the wages that we deserved for what we were doing. Um, we had to stand in lines for hours and not get paid for them. And with standing in that line and not knowing if you're going to be paid or even have a job at the end of the day makes you not know if you're going to have m enough money to pay your bills, enough money to eat with, enough money to do anything. And also with working at the Target Field, we had to endure like very harsh weather with no breaks. Um, like with the eating situation, they burgers cost twelve dollars. A hot dog costs six dollars. We get six dollar tickets to work to feed ourselves and only able to eat a hot dog and be there for eight nine hours with only one fifteen minute break. Like it was just so very stressful for me because it was days where I'm going in and having to do double days. With six with a six dollar ticket, and I'm still hungry. I'm working twelve hours plus, and I'm only getting paid for eight of them. Cause I have to stop when during the middle of the game. I gotta stop, go stand outside, wait for another two hours to get into the next game, and I'm not getting paid for any of that. Which is hard on me because I have five children at home that I need to support and take care of. And not knowing if I'm going to have the accurate pay to be able to take care of my kids, feed them, and do what I have to do on a daily life was hard for me working with the Target Field. And that's actually how I got involved with NOP because they seen that, you know, it was harsh conditions working at the Target Field and wanted to better help out our community and the pay that we deserve. We did so much work in there and the people who was on permanent, because I actually worked there through a temp service. So the people that was on their permanent, they're going home early. We have to stay late, clean up and everything. And we're not even getting paid for that full time. We're getting eight hour pay and we've been there 10, 15 hours a day. So they were basically robbing us of our pay, not giving us enough wages to live a livable, sustainable life, not feeding us. It was just so many things wrong working with the target field. And I think that's about it.